Hi guys, it's Robbie 46 here. Welcome yourselves back to MotoGP 21 on the PS5. Let's continue our Moto2 career with Envy Augusta. We lead the championship by 10 points from Lowe's as we head to Mugello for the next race. So Mugello will be five laps. Uh, one more week when we get to Catalonia, we'll have our new engine upgrade. So yeah, let's go to Mugello. It's going to be dry. Let's do it. Okay, straight through to Q2 fastest overall. Feeling pretty good around here at Mugello. Let's see what we can do in qualifying. I mean, we do go pole, but I don't think that's going to last. Alright, come on. Let's try and beat my time. Out on the curb, that's lost us a bit of time. Okay. Up towards Arabiata 2. Still under just at the moment. Right, this is where we lost it last time by pulling a big wheelie. Yeah, gained quite a bit of time through that. Much better, much better. Quite a few people got red sectors at the moment. Lost time at the final corner. There we go, we beat our time but only by 10. Okay, we're starting on the front row. Second place, just missed out there. Marco Bezzecchi, his home race, he is on pole position. Sam Lowe's our title rival, 10 points behind. He lines up alongside us in third. Here we go then. A race time at Mugello. I mean, 48 degrees, it's got to be hard front, hard rear. Nothing else will last. Let's do it. Marco Bezzecchi, medium front, medium rear. Lowe's has gone medium front, hard rear. Okay. Good start, please. Okay, see if we can get past Pizzacchi by turn one. I think we will. Yes, we do. Nice. Good start. Now it's whether we can hold it. Casanova and Savelli is where the AI are usually a bit quicker. And yeah, they caught me up. Oh, Bezeki's gone for a move through Savelli. We catch right up to him through Arabiata 1. Up towards Arabiata 2. There was a little bit of room, but we couldn't make it through. Oh, squeezing. Someone's gone down. We try to get the better of Bizaki. He's on the inside for the next corner. And he's got it. He's gone wide there. Can we hook it back round? Not quite. Slightly better exit out of the Beyondetti S's into the final corner. A little bit wide. Actually, very wide. 
We got slipstream now though. Do we get him to the line? This is only power mapping too, remember, as well. We do get him by the line. That is good. See what happens on lap two. Oh! Little bit of contact there. He's come back through. Obviously, being his home race, he wants to fight. Marcel Schrotter in third, lows down to fourth. Okay, Arabiata one is where we caught up quite a bit last time. We caught up a little bit there. Not as good through the Beyond Dirty S as that time. Getting a little bit wide. Oh, I thought Schrotter was going to go for it. We won't get him by the line this time, I don't think. We will if you, we use Power Map in three, but we're not going to. We'll just keep with two for now. Pazeki leads the way as we start lap three. Got a tight line through turn one. Trying to take some wide sweeping lines to get the exit out of corners. Too hot into there though. Oh, I really messed that one up. Lowe's is back in the third. The rev limiter into Casanova. Messing up severely. Lowe's is going to come through. Not quite. Spinning up the rear. Overheating slightly on the right hand side. Too hot. Another track limits warning. I'm making too many mistakes now. Right, we need to settle down. We've got two laps to go after this one. Holding a much tighter line that time. Okay. Don't let him get away, don't let him get away, don't let him get away. Okay, again, a much tighter line through turn one. Much better through those two corners. Better through Casanova and Savelli as well.
Much better lap so far. Okay, mess that up. Exit wasn't too bad. Again, holding a tighter line. Right, now we can use power map and three on the straight and slipstream. Might not be enough. Just set the fastest lap, I think. Or well, my fastest lap, anyway. We're back with him on the final lap. Just between me and Bezeki now. Come on. Come on, we need Pam up in three now. Of course, this would be MV Augusta's home race. A bit wide there, but we can bring that back. Oh, track limits warning. This is going to be very close. It's going to be close on fuel as well. I think we're going to do it. Oh, it's going to be very close. Come on. Where's the line? Where's the line? Oh, I think we may have just got it. Was that a photo finish or was that a photo finish? It was indeed a photo finish. We beat Bezeki by literally nothing. That was a crazy race. Absolutely crazy. We had the fastest lap of the race, 52-2. Whoo. That. <laughs> I mean, we made a mistake through the Beyond SESs. We got another track limits warning. But, uh... Yeah, we got him. We got him. So, a win at Mugello. 19 points over Lowe's now. So, yeah. Seven, still only 17 points behind in the team championship, which isn't too bad considering I'm pretty much doing most of it by myself. I'm going to look at that run to the line in the replay. Right, here we go. This is coming out of turn 12. Bezeki very wide. I have a massive slide coming out, which obviously doesn't help. And then into the Beyond SESs. I don't have the best of entrances. We are... Actually, entrance wasn't too bad. The exit gave us a, a track limits penalty, but... I think we actually didn't touch the green. Our front wheel is in the air there. So we're not actually on the green so I think we technically didn't touch the green but anyway so that's out of beyond SES now we go down towards the final corner went a bit wide so did Bezeki try to get the power on as early as possible but the uh, the rear was protesting a bit and then coming out it was a case of just trying to slipstream as much as possible. We were gaining and gaining and gaining and gaining. Pulling out at the last moment. Yes, we literally just got to the uh, finish line just before Bezeki there. Look at that. That is very, very close. 
Is there a different... Yeah, there we go. Literally just ahead of Bezeki. We hit the, the white part of the, uh, the finish line just before Bezeki, but that was very close. Very, very close indeed. All right, so an awesome photo finish. Let's go to Park Ferme. That was a tough race. Really didn't think we were going to get it, but um, yeah, we managed it. Now I'm looking forward to Catalonia. See what we can do there. Hopefully more of the same. Excellent. So, we have our new engine upgrade for Catalonia now. So that's good. I think it's time we've done some electronics. Let's get on with anti-wheelie, but we need to get people in research first. Let's get everyone in there. Nice. Okay. So Catalonia will be six laps as well. This is going to be a dry race as well, which is excellent. Let's go for qualifying. Here we go. Quali at Catalonia. Let's get that pole position. I think we'll be able to get it. Just get it stopped for turn one. Not very well though. A bit too hot under turn one. Still underneath the current pole position, which is Marco Bezzecchi. Sliding through that corner, really overheating the rear tyre there. And I've got a hard rear tyre on as well. That doesn't bode well, does it? The hard rear tyre is overheating quite badly. Are we going to have tyre issues here? It's a possibility. Hmm, I'm not liking the looks of this. We're still under. But sliding the rear a little bit too much for my liking at the moment. The rear tyre is getting severely punished. Okay, run to the line. 46.5 to beat. 46.2. That might be enough. So, it wasn't enough. It wasn't even enough for the front row. We're starting at the front of the second row. Where is Lowe's? There he is. 14th place. Okay. This could be a, a race where Lowe's... Oh, no. We don't want to do that. Where Lowe's uh, loses a load of points. Right, race time then. What can we do from the second row of the grid? 48 degrees, hard front, hard rear. Nothing else is going to last. Let's do it. Okay. Try and get a good start. Here we go. Not the best this starts. Pulled a bit of a wheelie out to put the rear brake on just to control that. Second place though. Maybe the lead. Not quite. Around the outside is not going to work there. He's gone very wide there. Can we 
sneak through. Not quite, he's gone wide though. No, he's capped it. Okay, he's wide, he's wide, he's wide. Couldn't get through though. Right, slipstream Bazaki. Oh, curb, curb. That was weird, it like properly flicked me up in the air then. That's dropped us down to fourth place. That's dropped us down to fifth. Oh, bloody curbs on this game. I literally, the rear tyre is overheating so badly and it's the hard rear tyre as well. Oh, I messed that up. Okay, Digi's gone into the lead. Bezeki's going to go down a third if he's not lucky. He has. Right, stay off the curb. Not able to get through that. Looks like Gardner's gone wide. A few of them have gone wide, spinning up though, just grip! Around the outside of Gardner isn't going to work. We got Bezeki though. That's messed up. The curbs on this game really are not your friends. Right, another lap down onto lap four. Fast slap of the race to us. Too hot, too hot. Gardner's going to go for the inside of Digi. 
There he goes. Spinning up the rear. Trying to go around the outside of both of them. Not going to work. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Two on one round the outside of mess that corner up though. Gunner's back through, Bezeki's back. Oh, no. Who else is through? Digi trying to come back through. This is some race. Oh, uh, too much inside curb. Okay, we got two laps to go. Right hand side of the rear tyre does not like gripping, it keeps overheating itself. Here we go for the lead. Oh, I got that stopped beautifully there. So we lead at the moment, but how long for? Don't know where Lowe's is, he's not inside the top eight. Keep it nice and tight. Our tyres won't thank us, but we'll keep the lead. Someone else has gone down. Okay, lost some drive onto this back straight. Tell you what, they would have to go some to uh, get past me there. Because, I mean, Gardner was... Oh! He's coming through. Whether I like it or not, not a lot I could do there. I'm trying to defend it. We've got one lap to go. <laughs> okay. Final lap time. If that was the final lap, that would have been a great move. Oh, Digi's coming. No, Digi's through. Well done. That was a good move. Can we get back up the inside of him? Oh, he's, he's drifting wide, so am I though. Come on, get the power down. Surely he's going to go wide at this corner. Oh, he's gone very wide. He's gone very wide. We are back through into the lead. Doors open, doors open. Fastest lap, Sam Lowe's. Don't know where he is though. Someone's just gone down again. Careful, careful. I've left the door open. No one's come through. Oh, Digi! It's going to be another close one. We are going to win, though. Ho, oh, ho, ho, ho. That.
was another very, very close race. But again, we get the win on the MV Augusta. Where did Sam Lowe's finish? In 13th place, just behind his teammate Fernandez. 45-2 for Lowe's. Just a tenth quicker than I went. There we go. Now we've really opened up the championship. 41 point lead because Lowe's was down in 13th place. Oh. We now lead the team championship. Baldazari has got three points. We've got 172. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. We lead by one point. Look at the top four teams all separated by six points. That is crazy. It's been a fun season so far. But yeah, the, the rear tyre around there, the right-hand side was just overheating. Not good. Not good at all. I'm definitely not looking forward to any kind of wet race with the Moto2s because if we're spinning up quite a bit in the dry, we're going to be spinning up even more in the wet. But hopefully we won't have too many of them. Whew. So far so good. Can't do anything on electronics yet. Haven't got enough. Advance. We go to Satsun Ring next. Still can't do anything in electronics. Satsun Ring will be seven laps. Standings for all three categories. It, it is Pedro Costa leading from his teammate John Messia in second place in Moto3. Sergio Garcia is third. Darren Binder fourth. And Nicolo Antonelli is in fifth. Moto2, we've got a nice big lead over Lowe's now in second place with Bezeki third. Remy Gardner fourth. And Marcel Schrotter moves up to fifth. Then MotoGP, it is Zarco who leads the way from his, te his teammate, his compatriot, Fabio Quattararo in second, 13 points behind. Bagnaglia's third, Jack Miller's fourth, and Maverick Vinales is in fifth. Anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe, watch hands, look after yourself. See you guys next time. See you!